Earlier, one of the chiefs with the Flagler County Sheriff's Office told News for Jacks more pieces of wreckage have been found. Channel 4's Ashley Harding has been on the ground all morning. The sheriff says that search crews will not give up until they have some answers, Ashley. Bruce, that's exactly what they have been telling us. And as I just learned from the chief, we may have answers a lot sooner than originally reported. So Chief Strobridge with the Flagler County Sheriff's Office, you told me something very important just a moment ago. An aircraft has been located, am I correct? Yes, Ashley, we have located an aircraft over in the area where we have been searching. We're trying to get to the aircraft to find out exactly the condition and shape of the airplane so we can get additional details out to people as soon as possible. And we had been mentioning that you had been reporting with, with us that pieces of this pl of a plane had been located. So now we're talking about the full body plane, the fuselage. Yes, we are talking about the fuselage of the airplane, the, the body where, where the passenger compartments are contained and such. So we're, we're hoping to get to those right right now. And uh, as soon as we do, we'll, we'll keep you informed on the condition and such that we find. And we also know that uh, you all have, there have been so many resources put into this. Who located it? Who spotted it? Because we, we've got some marsh here that's problematic. We, we do. And again, you know, early on, we talked about how crucial the air search was. Uh, we had helicopters up. They actually spotted it in, in a marshy area. So we're trying to get to it right now to find out exactly, to verify if it's the plane that went missing last night at 11 o'clock and, and it, who or the occupants are and, and what they're doing. And Chief, about how long ago was this discovered? Uh, within the past 10 minutes ago. Really? Can you tell us about how many people, any, any news about that, who or how many? We don't have anything verified yet because we're still trying to get to it at the ground level. Uh, right now we're kind of over the aircraft looking through it as best as we can, but it's a little bit difficult to uh, to say exactly who are, is in the aircraft at this time. And Chief, over my shoulder, there's a helicopter still hovering. Are, are you all still searching for anything? No, it's not that we're searching for anything. We're just trying to guide the ground crews to come into the helicopter. I see. Okay. Chief, also, so we're understanding that this is, uh, has a, this plane has a range of about a thousand miles, four seater. We don't know how many people were aboard. Is there any further confirmation about, uh, about the flight itself? Well, no, there and until we actually get next to the aircraft and are able to fully identify the airplane, we, we don't know if it's one that's missing. But once we have that information, we'll be able to provide additional detail on, on who and what and where. So, so not absolutely certain that this is the same plane, but what kind of parts have been found? Uh, well, we found uh, several parts of uh, what would be considered like the horizontal stabilizer and such in different locations. This is the main fuselage, the main body of the aircraft, if you will. What kind of reports are you getting from perhaps witnesses? Oh, we, we started receiving reports last night just after 11 o'clock. They heard engines sputtering and such. So we'll, we'll find them. Uh, we're, we're relatively sure this is probably the airplane that we're looking for that the FAA informed us is down. So. Can you confirm if this was, in fact, a pilot and a student from the, from the flight school in Ormond Beach? And, and until we know with great certainty the identity of the actual aircraft and we're getting to that ground level now we won't be able to, to, to tell you if that's the case or if that's not the case is it possible they're still in there and in, inside the fuselage you know and it is it is possible that they are and, and again we don't know condition or anything at this particular point in time. so you're still considering this a rescue not a recovery. we are it is still a rescue operation not a recovery operation and sir you mentioned earlier that we're going to get an official press briefing with the sheriff at 12 30 is that still on that press briefing is still on he's collecting information right now over at the Scene. Okay, thank you very much, Chief. Thank Appreciate you. you. And you heard it right there. An aircraft has been located. They are trying to get to ground level right now to actually get in there and be able to investigate. And as we showed you, there is a helicopter currently up there. They are using that as a guide to allow the search uh, resources to make their way in. The sheriff of Flagler County is going to be briefing us in a little less than 30 minutes. We are going to take that live on air and as well as on our, well as on our website, newsforjax.com, to bring you all the very latest. Back to you, Bruce.